to my Taglish channel. So guys, I will show you one of the tourist spot in Tayug, the northeastern part of Pangasinan. So are you excited? What are we waiting for? Happy yeah. watching! Let's get started. So sit back and relax. So from my parents' house to Sunflower Com is about... 33 minutes by the way Jax and I and my dad my dad is the driver for today's activity this is our second time so the last time we went here was December last year and unfortunately they are closed so hopefully this time they are open because last year they had a renovation and seating of sunflowers so this is outside guys so finally we are here so as you can see they have a massive parking lot the parking lot is free of charge and they also have parking lot for motorbikes summer is approaching the sunflower comp is reopened again to its new normal so the sunflower comp is located at zone 4 barangay c lichauco tayug pangasinan due of their public loud music i need to get rid of the music so it will not be copyright here you can see the sunflower comp sign and you can take a photo so here you can see the safety health protocols it's a big sign outside entrance fee is 100 for regular discounted is 80 for student kids senior citizen and pwd wearing face mask and face shield is a must when entering inside the park after you purchase the ticket they will give you a card and you need to top it in the machine like an mrt and lrt and they will stomp your hand or your arm before you entering the park welcome to sunflower camp at tayug eco park so on the left side you can see a mini stage and this is the first part of the echo part. So, opening hours Sunflower Camp is open Monday to Sunday from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. The best time to visit Sunflower Camp as early as 7 a.m. during weekdays because during weekends it's crowded. In our case, we went there almost 11 a.m and it was bloody hot the park is also open for photo shoot of all kinds of special locations such as prenup wedding birthday debut and many more we are heading now in the middle of the park so now we are at the tunnel or the passageway and you can take a lot of posts take selfies photos you can see there's a big yellow sunflower in the middle of the park and they have caravans gazebo and kubos available to use there are nipa huts inside the camp where you can rest and bringing food inside the park is prohibited 
Aside from sunflowers, there are different kinds of flowers that you can see inside the camp, such as marigolds, Pelosia cristaya, comprena, and morning glory. The season for sunflowers is every day. There is a continuous plantation of sunflowers here, so there will always be a field that will bloom continuously. The farm is not only about sunflowers and different flowers, but they also have a vegetables here. So on this side, you can see they also have a greenhouse. Hello, Indonema. Oh. So, greenhouse is for. So here you are freely to take a selfies, photos inside the greenhouse. So how beautiful is this sunflower? Very nice. So here this is another selfie area. I love how they uh, use the recycled material. to go inside the kubo and you can use it so this is the sunflower maze the main attraction here is the maze itself when you go inside the maze surrounded with sunflowers and try not to get lost inside of this maze but i know and i believe you will not get lost on this maze just follow the So there is another rest area if you feel tired or if you feel uh, rest for a while there's a lot of chairs um, around there's another area for selfie Take photos.
they have a mini house garden so kids will love it so it's family friendly area so now we are heading to the other side as you can see they still working on that side now we are towards that side So if you love taking photos, selfies, you must go here. Here there is a mini bridge so you can walk over here and there's a sunflower over there and here you can see there is a boat or bangka so you can see on that side there's a different kind of nest and on this side there's a playground for the kids You can see the first Instagrammable area for selfies, uh, photos, and on the other side, you can see also a, another nest or oh, Instagrammable photos area. See, there's a lot of pots, there's a lot of seats everywhere, chairs. If you feel tired or if you need to take a rest. Kayuk Pangasinan, the country's first sunflower maze, is beginning to take shape in this agricultural town in Pangasinan province. As you can see, sunflower camp is in the middle of the rice field or rice paddy. So here we are at the top so you can see the whole sunflower camp at Tayug Echo Park. So here you can see that's me. Over there there's a playground. So that's the entrance area, the big house over there. So this is the nest. Take note, do not forget to bring water, sunscreen, and umbrella because of the weather. So this we are on our last part. So this is the exit and we're back from the start. So that's the mini stage. Earlier, you can see there's a table and chairs. And that's the exit. So you can check it. Tayo Sunflower Maze. So this. They have restrooms outside for male and female. So we are outside already. After we walk, we decided to get a drinks here in Cafe Cultura, a street cafe stall outside the park. So there's also a food stalls here as well. So you can choose what you want, drinks or food.
Flower Com is a good stopover for you, your family, your loved ones, and your friends. So guys, I hope you enjoy watching and you learn something today. Thanks for watching and thanks for supporting my videos. So guys, I will put their details in my description box down below and you can check them out. So guys, please like if you did enjoy my video today and please do subscribe if you haven't yet. And don't forget to hit the bell button for you to notify on my next video. And please comment down below if you like this video pa. and see you when I see you on my